Good morning, everybody. We are in Kansas still, doing a little bit different video today. So we actually had the idea of doing some catfishing, uh, but it just didn't really work out. So now we, we're, we, we're thinking, what can we do for a video? And I'm with Bobby Guy from Bobby Guy Films. We're in Kansas right now. We're gonna be doing something different, some magnet fishing, okay? So we're gonna be going around right now. We're in a city, basically downtown, and uh, we're gonna be looking for whatever we can find, anything that gets sucked up by a magnet. Um, and then we're gonna try some different spots. We're gonna go to like some popular fishing docks, some urban creeks, stuff like that. We're just gonna see what we find. Again, it's just kind of like, uh, let's just explore this city. I've never been here to do this type of thing. And if you guys like it, let me know, and I'll do it back in Omaha. And uh, we can just kind of keep this going as like a thing. If you guys enjoy it, so let me know. But, look at this. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Howdy, howdy, howdy. What do we howdy. got? You gotta show the folks at home yeah. what we got. Okay, let's check it out. So, right here. Yep, how big is oh, that? Oh, we got remnants from the last one. Buddy has a giant. So right here we have an 1150 pound magnet. 1150 pounds this bad boy can pull, lift. Yeah, a beast. How much does this one weigh? That one, that one's not the greatest on this. This, this one guy, sucks, so this is the one I need. Oh, everything's stuck together. Oh God. And then here we have an 836 pound pull magnet. So between these two, we got a lot of pound pulling going on. So that is what we are rolling with. We have 1100 pounds and 800. Yeah, 1100. 1150 to 836 that's a lot of strength i mean that's like we're lifting big big objects potentially so you can you, you, you can feel them oh, just yeah, vibing are they vibing they're right they're now vibing. positive vibing right now. that's good so like i said bobby got austin we got the man john from midnight outdoors and uh, we're gonna see what we can find we're also gonna literally run around the city and run around some ponds some lakes some docks chuck these suckers and uh we'll see what we find well here we go ladies this is the is this the 800 pounder all right so i'm rocking with the 836 this should be interesting look at this look at this we have three dudes walking through a city park with magnets and gloves and i don't have gloves well i'll be all right ready well i'm born ready all right first toss here goes nothing oh, this is really interesting oh wow There's some decent rocks down there first nothing what you do is you can just give it a nice little dangle here Pull it along nice and slow like. Let it stay on the bottom. Never know, find a murder weapon. Oh, Bob got something. Wire? Oh, that's a spring or a bungee or something. Uh, I don't know what that is. First find of the day. Bungee cord with a piece of metal on the end? I don't know. So what do you what do you do with, with like the stuff? Oh, hey, after hey. What do you got? Phone. Oh, no. 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 I just got a phone, dude. Stop like it. my no. second. Ca do you call it a cast? Like Are my you second serious? Cast? Yeah. Bond sale. I was, like, I was like, I could just feel it, and then just pull it right out. <laughs> no way. Bond right sale away. killed it. Right away. Are you? <laughs> I, was one cast it. <laughs> yeah. I was one cast I was one cast in. Away. First spot. What? Bro. High five. You gotta be kidding oh me, dude. Oh my god. It's off to a great start, ladies oh and gentlemen. So now this becomes a competition real quick. Because now I'm winning. How in the hell am I gonna beat I don't know, that? I don't know how we're gonna beat. Bonsell's gonna win this because uh Wow. I'm just All naturally right, well, good at everything. Like I said, if you guys was... if you guys like this, let me know. But wow. I'm gonna go back to fishing. Oh, what did I get? I got something. I got something. Oh, I can lid. Wow, I'm killing the game over here. Bond's daddy's catching freaking iPhones and I'm over here catching hands trying to figure out how to do this you just kind of instead of kind of throwing out and dragging it a lot you just kind of hop along this edge here right along here and just kind of work your way and you feel it like you feel, feel a clunk when uh when you grab something Some got a weight, some fishing screen, and check that out. Oh my god, check that out! A lug nut off a car. Pro so, this is a road that goes over, and this is a road, dude. It probably came off and bounced. Is that not gnarly? Whoa. Whoa. What is that? That's like a panel door to a electrical box or something. Like I think, a, right? a furnace or yeah, something, 
It's like a door to a furnace. Hopefully it isn't the door that drains this creek. <laughs> oh, there we go. Battery. Okay, we're getting somewhere, folks. I'm starting to get better at this. We got a battery. And a bolt though. We got a grade A bolt. And we got, a, I don't, it's creepy. Get it, Bunsell. Oh. I mean, that's still pretty new. I think you could wash that up. I don't know, I, but here's the deal. You're in the middle of a city. Like, I don't want to know why that's here. I don't know. Either fishing bait or some Someone substance. has a picnic. They're having a picnic right here and their butter knife fell in. And their kids could have just chucked it. Yeah, I mean. They could murder weapon. <laughs> yeah. Potential yeah. murder yeah. weapon, cops so gone chain that's been cut still got the lock on it someone done cut a chain to a lock to something and then ditched it in the water okay, that's it look what we got folks we got smartphone clearly i've seen better days butter knife that's interesting bob found a chain with a, a cut chain with a lock on it so we know what happened there lug nut whatever these things are some piping of some sort some metal i mean nothing really a drill bit some more chains some lids some screws some bolts i found a battery and then an industrial sized cheese grater so i'm pretty sure what this <laughs> what this sucker is right here i don't know i think I'm gonna, we'll take it home we'll give it a shot we'll see if it works that's what we got the first spot this was the urban spot now we're gonna where are we going we're going to the we're going to the popular fishing spot popular right? fishing spots like fishing docks you have to have the loud truck huh? hey bud now we are going to the popular fishing spots like the docks and stuff because this is like urban you know whatever we want to find some fishing we want to find some rods and reels find some lures some stuff we can actually use in videos because i think it'd be cool like taking like the the lures that we find and then go fishing with them so anyways that's what we're doing next made it to the next spot we got a dock i think it should be good it's kind of like what is this a campground what is this golf course what are we city park, city park fishery here we go all right walking out to the dock i feel like the dock is definitely going to be easier to find stuff because it's going to be a lot more precise you know that's just going to be around the edges where people are going to lose items so well, we're going to see what happens here get hooks oh you got something on there son Oh, been sipping the old syrup, huh? The syrup. We got a little bottle cap. We're getting somewhere. So these boat docks, fishing docks, any docks, if you look down here, look how big this crack is. So when it's nighttime, you pull your phone out, you drop it. A lot of times it ain't gonna bounce and fall off. It's gonna go through the crack. So how do you get your magnet through the crack? Chuck your magnet out on one side. Lay your rope around the outside of this bad boy. Let it sink. You gotta let it sink before you start pulling it. And you gotta work your rope underneath that bad boy. You can drag it up underneath the dock. A lot of silt. Oh yeah, we got stuff. Oh, oh my oh god! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Look at this! You got all Keychain of some sort. Catfish bell. We got a catfish bell. That's the third one of those or fourth I found, really? you know, ever. Look at that. What type of lure is that? That's uh, just a spinner. Just a, a spinner. Yeah. What's what's this? Spinner? Don't know what that is. And then a oh, another hook? horrible oh my God. circle are they, hook. What are they, shark fishing? Yeah. Sheesh. Good finds. Uh oh, it looked like you had copper on there. Did I? Oh, what do we got here, boys? Perfect. Oh, we do have copper. Yep. Look at that. You got a piece of copper. This is a copper clad, right? Copper and it's clad. used for ground wire, in which pretty much the only thing we can think of is why we have it here. Somebody probably stole it. This is like a very common thing to steal. And then maybe they got nervous about selling it or something. All right, in the bucket. All right, so we got four bottle caps. I don't know what that is. The fishing weights, a bunch of hooks, some copper. More hook, catfish bell, pretty much it. Nothing really crazy. So we're gonna move. We're going to like a more popular spot, like a 
Like, what do you, how do you describe this spot? This is like the modern campground spot. It's like, like a campground. Like a campground. We're thinking like public people, campground. public campground. Yeah, yeah. Basically, just try to find more populated areas. I don't know my audio is better. I don't have to scream. Um, yeah, so we're just going to spot hop. So, here we go. It's off center, wasn't it? A pair of pliers. Oh, that's yes. a fun, dude. Oh, what else did I get? That's a fun. Oh. oh, these are still. Oh yeah, that's still one fun. of my nice. tackle box. Jeez. First throw, boys. A pair of pliers, bottle cap. I don't know why people just throw this stuff in the water. Not the not the pliers. I'm sure that was an accident. But like, come on, don't 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 be throwing your stuff in the water, right? The stuff doesn't disintegrate. Now I gotta go run around and put all this stuff in a bucket. Clean up the environment, you know. Hey, we ain't sponsored by Hanes here, Bob. <laughs> I'll be looking at my ass. <laughs> you no, know it's nice. What the? Look at here. Look at that. BJ. Tell me you have never used BJ. Where is it? I found a BJ. A who? <laughs> BJ. BJ. BJ catfish yes, bait. Please. Bruh. Uh oh. We got a bunch of all my look at all this, dude. What is that? It's gotta be something for fishing. What is that? Bait. that ain't a weight. No idea. What, oh, look, dude, it's got some noise in Tweezers. it. Tweezers, someone's line, little cutters, you know. Yeah, or they're fishing just line cutters, cutting their fingernails. They could be getting a manicure out here. It must be like a rattle for a bait that you put yeah. on the bottom, like for catfishing, like yeah. a rattle. That's a look at that. That'd be nice. Catch to the old Tootsie. Mm -hmm. What do we have? We got a, what is this? A mason jar. Oh, catfish bait. Batteries. That's just a bunch of, fun, just yeah. a bunch of, oh, clippers. Pliers. Oh, a catfish bell. No one said, I didn't know you See, he that. automatically knew what it was. We are like, what's that? It's a catfish bell. Okay. Nails. So not much, boys. So far, so far it hasn't been great. Like I said, the, the urban the urban scene, the urban creek produced, you know, the smartphone and some bigger project, bigger objects. This has just been just some little guys. But we're gonna try to find one, one more spot to find something juicy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're at the final spot. This is like a big recreational lake, so this could be absolutely juicy. Oh, what do we got here, boys? Good. Big chunk of metal, rusty metal. All right, we'll take it. Oh, I gotta suck it. Nice. Look at that. Oh, dude. Dude. Good find. Oh, yeah. Put it in the craftsman jar. Oh, dude, I can go repair things or something. Look at that. What is it? It is a, no, it's a car quest, not a craftsman, but decent. Yeah, I wonder what that one those people are on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Great guy. I'll go get it. Oh, this feels. Oh, we're good. This is the tactic, boys. Oh. Be one with the lake. No, be one with the boat ramp. Yeah, that's true. It's the boat ramp. This feels pretty good, actually. It's all about that angle, bro. Oh, I got a ton of stuff. Two screws, a nail, a washer. Score, boys. In the bucket she goes. Howdy! I don't want to be a dummy. What are y'all doing? Uh, magnet fishing. What? Magnet fishing. So we're using a magnet to catch metal objects that people have dropped. All sorts of stuff. Yeah, you never know what you're going to find. It's like treasure hunting. Yeah. Yep. That's, I mean, you never know. Might find something valuable. Woo! We are done, ladies and gentlemen. We have completed the first magnet fishing video that I've ever done. Bobby's done these. This channel will be linked down below. He's got a few of them. He's found some pretty awesome things. Not a phone, though. 
Yeah, Fawn's Fawn's daddy came first, in clutch. First, Fawn's first, first ever phone that has been found. I mean, it, the battery was ripped out of it. I, what do you think? Think about that. Put this. Think about this. Someone rips the battery and throws it in. Yeah, that's pretty sketchy. Wonder if there's a way I can. Do you think there's a SD card? What do you? There is. It's right here. No way. Yes, that's a card right there. Regardless, boys. All right, so we're gonna try to get this, but this will be a different episode. We if we can try to get onto this. Not that I want to snoop, but it just just out of curiosity. Oh, we want to snoop. Probably want to snoop. And, uh, these are what we got here. We got you know catfish bell, cut chain, butter knife, a lug, lug nut, a uh, looks like a strip lug nut too. Yeah, looks like somebody bad, really yeah. just stole some tires. Uh, a little socket set, some hooks, pliers, batteries, some more bells, cheese grater. You guys saw that. Um, that's pretty much about it. I mean, we got some some BJ's catfish bait. But anyways, that's what we found. Again, if you guys enjoyed, let me know. Drop a comment down below. Make sure you hit a like on this video. If you guys like it, I'll continue this. We'll go back to Omaha. We'll go to Texas. We'll do, you know, around the Guggen Squad house. All different locations. We can go anywhere in the world, basically, and throw magnets around and catch, catch stuff. See what you catch. I think it's fun. I actually really didn't think much of it. But then Bobby was like, dude, I've done this. It's sick. And I was like, all right, let's try it. Let's just see. And it, it was honestly awesome. It's like you just never know what you're going to find. It's kind of like Rob's little beep beep metal detecting. But instead of beep beeping, you're just chucking a hunk of metal and everybody looks at you like you're a freaking idiot. So anyways, really do appreciate the view. Peace.